Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to the Coliseum here as the first place in the AL West sitting at 46 and 24. Oakland Athletics play host to the Seattle Mariners, who are sitting at 29 and 40 here in the 2019 campaign. The Mariners' starting lineup is as follows. Shortstop Marte, followed by center fielder Adam Jones. Third base Seager, right field Kemp, second base Cano, first base DJ Peterson, DH Steve Lombardozzi, the former athletic, left field Desmond Jennings, and catcher is Rob Brantley. While on the mound for the Athletics is the right-hander, former Vanderbilt Commodore Sonny Gray. He's 7-5 so far in the year with a sub-3 ERA in 14 games started. As he'll start him off his day, against the shortstop Cattell Marte, hitting 235 this season for this Mariners ball club. As he stands in on the left side of the box, here comes the first pitch. In there for misses, I should say, for ball one. Changeup makes it a 1-0 count, now moves to 2-0. As Gray turns, kicks, and fires, that's going to be lined right at Fernandez. He reaches out and snags it for out number one. So Marte's retired, and that brings up the center fielder in Adam Jones, the former Oriole who originally left the Mariners for the Orioles and now is back here in Seattle. As he goes down, swinging on the 2-2 pitch on the down and in fastball. Whiffs right through it, so that's two down here for the Athletics in the top half of the first, and that brings up Kyle Seeger. 1-2 count, here comes the pitch. That's going to be popped up in the infield. That's foul territory. Kyle Schwarber's under it, and he'll put that one away for out number three. So a 1-2-3 inning for Sonny Gray in the top half of the first. No hits, no runs. You're halfway through one. Welcome back to the Coliseum here for the bottom half of the first inning. The A's lineup is second baseman Jose Miguel Fernandez. Right field Solarte. Center field is Pollock. D.H. Davis catching a Schwarber. Third base, Slayton, left field, Mason. First base, Allen, and shortstop is Barreto, rounding things out in the nine hole. Well, on the mound for the Mariners is the left-hander, the former Red Sox, Wade Miley. Two and three on the year with a 3.24 ERA, so a pretty solid ERA on the season for the left-hander. He just hasn't been able to get a rack in any wins in 11 starts this year. So here we are on the bottom of the first as Fernandez, who's been raking this season, digs in. First pitch to him. Taken for ball one, misses the bottom half of the strike zone, so 1-0 count runs the 1-2 on Fernandez. Lefty on lefty action, here comes the pitch. That's going to be blooped out to left field. Will it land? It does. It's going to get into the corner. Fernandez rounding first, heading into second base. The throw in is cut off by the shortstop Marte, as Fernandez has himself a double to lead off the ball game, his 18th double on the year. And now it'll bring up Jan Hervis Solarte, the right fielder. The utility man playing right field in this lineup today. As here comes the first pitch to him. That's swung on. Ground ball at the second base. Fueled by Cano on the run. Has no play but to go to first. So Fernandez moves up to third base. So one down, runner on third as Solarte has retired on the ground down. That brings up A.J. Pollock, who's been raking against left-handed pitching this season, hitting 357. Here comes the pitch from Miley. Swung on, grounded at the third base, fielded by Seeger. His only plays over to first as they retire Pollock. But Fernandez comes in and scores the ace strike first in this one. It's 1-0 Athletics on the RBI ground out from A.J. Pollock. And now here comes the D.H. Chris Davis with two outs and a no one count on him. Facing the left-handed Miley. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be driven out to right field, but it's not deep enough as that's going to be caught a few feet in front of the warning track by the right fielder, Matt Kemp. That's going to be put away for out number three, but not before the A strike for one and an RBI ground at from A.J. Pollock. So one nothing with one hit over the Mariners for the Athletics here at the end of one. And here we are back in the bottom half of the third inning here with the A's at the plate. Jose Miguel Fernandez leading things off as he takes the first pitch for ball one. Misses the outside half. Count runs 1-2 now. As here comes the 1 2 from Miley. And that's going to be taken up and in, up and away. Correction for strike number three. Fernandez could not pull the trigger. So he goes down looking. So one down, that brings up Jan Harris Solarte. And here comes the first pitch of the AB. And he's first pitch swinging, and it's not going to go anywhere. That's popped up to the infield of Marte. Shortstop. He retires it for out number two. 
So that's two down easily for for Miley here on the bottom half of the third. And now that brings up the two outs. AJ Pollock digs into the batter's box. Here comes the kick and the pitch from Miley. And AJ Pollock gets some good wood on this one. You can kiss it goodbye. AJ Pollock solo shot over the left field fence. Got some good wood on it. Good wood on it. And he takes Wade Miley deep for his 16th bomb of the season. And just like that, it's the 2 0 A's lead. As that brings up Chris Davis. First pitch to him taken for ball one. In this 2 0 lead now for the A's. Count runs 2 0 now on Davis. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be Ryan at the right field. It'll land in front of Kemp. That's going to be a single for Chris Davis. So he continues his solid season as he keeps the inning alive here with two bats and extends his 10-game hitting streak. So the 2-1 count now to Kyle Schwarber, the left-handed catcher facing the left-handed Miley. Here comes the pitch. That's a grab ball at the first base. Fielded by Peterson steps in the bag himself, so Schwarber is retired, but not before Pollock strikes for one more on a solo shot. Makes it a 2-0 A's lead over the Mariners here at the end of three. Welcome back to the Coliseum here in the top half of the eighth inning as Sonny Gray is still on the bump for the Athletics, and he'll be facing the DH and Steve Lombardozzi. He's had a cup of coffee here and there with the A's in previous seasons. And he takes this pitch up the middle, past the diving glove of Barreto into center field. That's going to be a single for Lombardozzi, who I was saying has spent a little bit of time with the A's in the past couple seasons, mainly in their minor league system down in AAA. And now that'll bring up Desmond Jennings with nobody out and one on. Gray sets working from the stretch. Here comes the pitch. And that's ball one taken up and in. So the 1-0 count to Jennings is now all evened out at 2-2. As Gray sets and fires. And the 2-2 pitch is taken down the left field line. That'll land just barely fa fair. Mason fields in the corner. And Lombardozzi does not have the fleetest feet to get home. So that's going to set up second and third with nobody out for the Mariners. And that'll end Sonny Gray's day, who has pitched a spectacular game here into the ninth inning. But they're going to bring in Alex Torres for this eighth with a serious situation in his hands. Runners on second and third with nobody out. And they're only up by two, so this is a very bad situation for the A's. And left-handed catcher in Rob Brantley will come to the plate. First pitch to him is fouled off for strike one. Count runs 0-2 as Torres sets and delivers. And he whiffs through the fastball. He goes down swinging. That's one down here in this top half of the eighth. Still runners on second and third as Cattell Marte, as we are back to the top of the lineup, digs into the batter's box. Cattell hitting from the right side of the plate as he takes for strike one right in the middle. That's a fastball. Gant runs one, two. Here comes the pitch from Torres. And he can't get around on the up and in fastball. That's two down as Marte goes down swinging. And Torres is one out away from getting out of it. Brings up Adam Jones, the center fielder. As Torres sets and delivers. First pitch taken, change up outside half, strike one. So the 0-1 count as Torres sets at the chest. Delivers the 0-1. That's a grab ball at the first, backhanded by Allen. He'll hustle over to the bag, steps on it, and he got him. Nobody comes in. Alex Torres comes in with second and third. Nobody out and gets out of it. Still 2-0 A's. What a performance by Alex Torres there. Welcome back to the top half of the ninth inning. A's still in the lead, 2-0 over the Mariners as Tony Watson comes in for the 33rd time this season looking for a save in this 2-0 lead for the A's. As will be facing Kyle Seeger, the left-handed bat. First pitch is grounded up the middle, fielded by Fernandez. He'll toss over to first as Seeger is retired for out number one. So that's one down as you see Tony Watson, his third in the American League in saves, looking for his 26th on the year. He's behind Ozuna and the Angels roll this Chapman. So the one-two count here to Matt Kemp. Watson sets, sidearm delivery is swung through the slider. That is a nasty pitch. You are not going to hit that. The sidearm slider from the left-handed reliever is a nastiest, one of the nastiest pitch in baseball. So two down as that brings up Cano. First pitch is fouled off into left field territory. Slayton has a chance. He dives and cannot haul it in. 
So the 0-2 count to Cano now. As Watson sets and fires. And he whiffs through the slider. The sidearm slider from the lefty Watson comes through again. And that's a 1-2-3 top of the ninth to pick up his 26th save of the season. As the Oakland Athletics come away with the victory here over the Seattle Mariners by a score of 2-0. Here at the Coliseum, the A's will improve to 47-24 and 24 on the year with this victory, while the Mariners will drop to 28-41, and 41, having a pretty disappointing season over there in that Seattle ball club. Sonny Gray pitched a great game, seven innings pitched. He did get in that jam, but Alex Torres was able to get out of it for him. So seven innings pitched, four hits allowed, no earned runs, and struck out eight. Well, Wade Miley had a decent day as well. He just could not get any run support. Six innings pitched, seven hits, two runs and 1K, just like a pissed off girlfriend texting. Well, the player of the game was Sonny Gray with that line I just recited. AJ Pollock was two for four in the day with a solo shot in the bottom half of the third to make it a two nothing A's lead. Well, the first run of the game was after Fernandez hit a double, was moved over to third with a ground with a ground out from Solarte, and then Pollock drove men with a ground out. So Pollock had two RBI in the day, and that was all they needed as it's a 2 nothing A's victory over the Mariners. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Oakland Athletics Baseball. I have been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.